No more show of late night. Nothing but illustrious guests. We got the homie in the building, Benny the Butcher. Benny, how's it going, uh, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. How you, my boy? Yo, it's always good to kick it with you, my guy. Yo, since last time we saw you, you got shot. I'm saying, how you mm -hmm. feeling, man? How's the recovery going? You good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm uh, getting better, just strengthening my leg out. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Getting back to yeah. work, back to traveling, running around, so I could, you know what I mean, get this money. You know what I mean? I feel you. I feel you. You had to do the physical therapy? Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely in physical therapy, stretching out my foot, my leg, and just, you know what I mean? Showing me how to uh, nurse myself back to health. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, is it at that point now you got, like, that stuff old people do where you can feel when it's about to rain? No, nah, not yet. People tell me when it get cold, I'm going to feel it. I'm going to feel yeah. it. But I haven't been in pain. I haven't been in pain lately. You know what I'm saying? So I've been good. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. You know, so when yes, we sir. heard it, we was like, because you had just done the DMFM radio with us, which classic, exactly. classic. You killed that. Right. And we heard about it. So, you know, we was concerned. It's good to hear. Everything's working mm -hmm. out with you. And when you just dropped the plugs I met too. I would yes, say I can't give it a valid opinion because I fuck with everything you drop. And, I, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm a big fan. It's another classic joint, though. You worked with Harry Thank Fraud. You. Harry Fraud mm -hmm. makes the wild beats. He finds, like, songs you might hear in the back of an Uber or, like, a song from the 90s. <laughs> right, he right. flips it. What was it like working with him? Man, it was dope, you know what I'm saying? And just like you said, he got a, like, crazy producer brain just playing with the sounds, and you know what I'm saying? And, and just feeding off of him. That's what I like to do. I like to feed off these producers because they be around so many artists and they just really taking bits and pieces from everything and they adding it up. So I love working mm -hmm. with producers like that. You know what I mean? That's my boy. You anything like me, them hand-to-hand -hand sales made you. Uh -huh. I'm one of them hustlers you gotta tell thank you. And what was it like, the soundscape? Because uh, on some of your older tracks, you know, it's like more, the songs were more dark and like leery. Mm -hmm. And this has mm -hmm. more like, not a pop feel, but definitely mm -hmm. that hairy fraud, kind of like weird, independent film kind of like samples, a little more poppy. Does that change the way you wrote the songs or you were just like, nah, this is how I do it. You know, regardless of the beat, this is how the song's coming out? Nah, you know, it's the same aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? It's the same aesthetic. And uh, man, that's what I was looking to do. That's mm -hmm. what we was looking to do. Like the uh, Harry be bringing us up in interviews. The Fat Joe record was mm -hmm. the first record we'd done. You know what I'm saying? So we got that, we got that Harry Fraud, Benny the Butcher wave out the way. And then we just focused on everything else. but. That's what I, that's what it's about. I wanted to tap into that. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to have one of them La Music of the Harry Fraud beats. I that couldn't dropped. wait to, you know what I'm saying? The music of the Harry Fraud. Yeah. That right, exactly. When you hear that, you're like, oh, okay, exactly. let's get ready. Let's get he don't miss. Like, right. and then you worked with French on this, you worked with Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. Is this real yeah. quick? Sorry, we lost your stream. Oh shit. All right, let me reset it. Sorry about this, Benny. No, it's all good. I'm chilling. Could be doing worse things. Could be in court exactly. or some bullshit, right? Oh my goodness. Right? I Yo, I used to always had a, the bubble guts when I went to court. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm you saying? The, the worst was like, if you got, if you went to court, cause you know you had to go and you was there at like 9.30 and then niggas didn't call your name for the first session. So you had to come back after lunch and niggas probably, Ooh. your whole day wasted. Ooh, that's the worst. I haven't got that bubble guts feeling in a minute. I don't miss it neither. Yeah. Like you get a good bubble guts now. Like the album just dropped. Good shit. Exactly. Happened. Exactly. That kind of shit. Not that same, I'm driving in the car, the cops pull up behind me. I know I'm clean, but am I? And you're just like, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, not that no more. The cops get behind me. My life, my life's so regular, the cops get behind me. I'm like, what the fuck they want? Exactly. You can talk <laughs> exactly. to them with an attitude now. Like, what do you want? Exactly. Officer? <laughs> right, real shit. Yeah, so back to the plugs I met too. You got a verse with Chinks, bro. Chinks Drugs, mm. rest in peace. One of my favorite rappers. One of like a lot of people in hip hop might not know about him, but every street guy knows about him. He's made classic records with French Montana. He got feelings. So many records tragically taken away from us. How'd you get that verse? The guy Harry Fraud. That's something that he had in the vault. You know what I'm saying? But me and Chinks, we go back because like in mm -hmm. 2012, 2011, I think. Uh. I did a song with French Montana and Chinks was in the studio. He asked me, he's like, yo, can I get on this? He was a hungry artist then. Mm -hmm. And that's a, his hungry phase. He was like, yo, can I get on this? I'm like, sure. He got on the song and he killed it. You know what I'm saying? And I always tell that story. I shared it with Harry Fraud. He was like, he, he was like, oh, we're a real shit. I'm like, that's a track. So yeah. I think he wanted to bring that back. And, and you know, me and Chinks, we, we, we alike, you know what I'm saying? In a lot of ways, you know what I'm saying? And I'm coming up under Wes, he coming up under French and, mm -hmm. No, no, he he was like taking off. Nobody expected that. You know what I'm saying? How I'm in my position taking off. And so 
it's dope. It's a dope record. One of my favorite records on the tape. Yeah, it's a banger on there, man. Definitely played it a lot. Also, you got one thing that I really like enjoy about your music because you know the drugs mm-hmm. and the guns is like you know, it's authentic. You you lived it. Mm-hmm. When you hear it, you're like, oh, he knows what he's talking about. This is not some made up mm-hmm. shit. But you also show the other side, like you you tell people about the bad things. Like you have that song, mm-hmm. um, Survivor's Remorse. We're talking about mm-hmm. you have friends that made you know, like when you got out the game, they still stayed in it, and now they're doing twenty right. years in Clinton, like. How often does that happen, that guilt that you feel? that Because, you know, like, you made it, but then you got mm-hmm. all your homies that didn't make it, all your friends are locked. You say, like, all your all the people you look up to are in gray sweats with new balances, you like, locked up and shit like that. Right, like, right, right. How often do you deal with that feeling? Man, a lot. It's so crazy. Maybe more than, maybe more often than I should because, you know, that's the situation for, for all my real friends. And I, I don't mm-hmm. talk about this stuff to glorify it, but... That was really my situation before I got this far in the music game, like being harassed by the FBI. And a lot of us didn't make it. They took who they took. So uh, I get these jail calls from my friends every day. And then they call me and they they want to know what I got going on. And they're like, yo, bro, I would be right there with you. I would be right there with you. And they write these my everyday friends. So it's like, man, even though I'm not supposed to feel guilty, I didn't do mm-hmm. nothing wrong. It's, it's, it's hard not to. It's hard not to. When I go back home and I see... Uh, the guys who I was in the trenches with, you know what I'm saying, down bad with, and, and I see them, and they still there. And mm-hmm. it's not because, and, and the crazy thing about it is, it's not because I won't help them financially or if I won't help them with an opportunity. You already know, you know, like me, like dudes are just comfortable in the hood. Like, that's what they yeah. want, you know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing else, you know what I'm saying? That's yes. where they want to be, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it's just like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you be like, yo, here's this bread. If you want to move out there, they're like, yo, I'm good. Like, why would I'm I leave? I'm good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I can relate. Another thing, mm-hmm. you know, you got shot, but you lived a life. You know how it is. It's like the pendulum. Mm-hmm. Like, you was on the other exactly. side one day. Was it, how did it, you know, when you stop and think after it's all said and done, were you just like, this is karma? Or were you just like, you know what? It just is what it is. Before I, be, I was in an ambulance thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before I got to the hospital, before I got discharged out the hospital, I'm like, yeah, they finally got your ass. All that shit mm-hmm. you did. That's what I was telling myself. They finally got your ass. All that shit you was running around here doing. Yeah. In his life, you know what I'm saying? I just got to protect myself better. Uh, mm-hmm. I got to move like, yo, I'm a celebrity. I don't, I be forgetting, you know what I mean? Yeah. I be forgetting that I'm a real celebrity. So I could, just, I I could definitely put... get the vibe. Like, you definitely <laughs> feel like you just be walking around like, yo, I'm just Benny. And it's just like, no, them days is over. And like, real shit. And it's, and it's, uh, it's, uh, this rap shit could be overwhelming, but it's a wake up call. And, uh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in this new space. I'm in this new, uh, area in life. And I just got to, I mean, I just got to uh, adhere to it and understand mm-hmm. what's going on and take care of myself. What's it? We were just talking off camera, but like, what's it like, uh, the stress freeness of it now? Like, you wake up, you don't got shooters after you, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to worry mm-hmm. about bagging this up, the count over here. Like, you wake up, you a rapper, you signing mm-hmm. deals, you're on the, you're leg- 100% legal, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You just drive, you could beef with the cops if you want, you an upstanding taxpaying mm-hmm. citizen. Right, right, You don't right. have that, you don't have that monkey on your back anymore what's the what's the difference in life now like do you you actually feel the difference hell yeah hell yeah i feel the difference in and that's a little that's the part that makes me feel guilty that you know what i'm saying that i got rich nigga problems now you know what i'm saying right. and, but you know i still got problems but it's not it's not like wondering where my next meal gonna come from it's mm-hmm. not wondering how i'm gonna pay my bills or it's not wondering if if i'm gonna be able to do something for my children or not so right. It's still problems, but you know it's, it's it's a definitely carefree, and it's better. It's a it's a it's a better life, and I see what everybody was telling when they say, "Stop selling drugs, so you don't got to look over your shoulder no more. You don't right. got to do this no more." That 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 peace is is worth worth everything, and it's not about the money. What I realize is the peace. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If 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 I could earn good money like being a vacuum cleaner salesman, I mean, I would I would go do that just to get out the streets because. You know, you, you you don't last long in the streets, but, man, it's a different kind of piece, and I love it. Yeah, you can't miss it. Also, yo, shout out to your Buffalo Bills. You know what I'm saying? They had a good run. Yeah. And I want to, I wanna, listen, I'm not even a Bills fan, but I, I, had, okay. I had the cop. I had the cop, bro. My boy. I yes, had the sir. cop, bro. Yes, sir. What was that, what was that yes, run sir. like for you? Because, you know, as a Knicks fan, I know what it's like mm-hmm. to be loyal to a team that is not succeeding, and, you know what I'm saying, people roast you. I know I've seen it for no reason, like, the Bills just be catching strays out of nowhere. Like, y'all be minding out your business. Nowhere. People just throw them under the bus. Same thing. And then, you know, you had this little bit of... And it wasn't... You didn't get a championship, but you know what? It mm-hmm. damn felt 
close to it. What was what was that run like for you? Because I seen you, you was out in the streets partying, you was hanging out a car, exactly. you was enjoying it. What's it like, your team doing well like that? Man, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm like the uh, Spike Lee to mm -hmm. the Bills, where he is to the Knicks, I'm like that to the Bills. So right. it was dope, man. Every Sunday, every football Sunday is like a holiday, let alone playoff Sunday when we haven't been in a minute and going to deep playoffs. Man, I spent like 40 grand on like, like in a, the, the suites where you could watch the game at, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And it was dope because during COVID, those not even available to everybody. So the team mm -hmm. was giving me like first first dibs on them. And, and I just love following the team around. Shout out to Deion Dawkins. Shout out to Cole Beasley, Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, mm -hmm. Zach Moss. Uh, I can keep going on, man. All those boys, my homeboys. And they uh, open, open their arms to me, man, and, and show me love. And I, and I love that. That's beautiful, man. Yo, shout out to you. you was in, it was great watching it. I was living vicariously. I was like, I hope they go all the way, man. Yo, so, so, I felt like Rudy. Remember that movie, Rudy? I feel yeah. like Rudy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love it. I feel you. Just going towards the end. Yo, what other things right. are you working on right now? Because, like, your work output is wild, but I get mm -hmm. it because you got the opportunity and you're not going to take it for granted because mm -hmm. you was doing other things and you see how easy it is to get money right now. What other projects mm -hmm. are you working on right now? Uh, man, I'm working on a bunch of things. You might hear, you know what I mean? Me and Special Project. You might hear uh, uh, me and Gibbs Project, me and Conway mm -hmm. Project. So I'm just staying in the studio, staying busy and and happy that me and Harry uh finally got this off because we were sitting on it for a minute and mm -hmm. there was a bunch of meetings about when it was coming out and I'm just happy that we got to put this out the right way. But I don't even know what's next. You know what I'm saying? I'm just working. I'm in the studio, man. I'm ready though. When did you record this? Uh I recorded this last year around the same time I was recording Burn the Proof. I recorded both of them at the same time. So I'm in that same frame of mind, you know what I mean? So wait, you do multiple, is that something you often do, like multiple projects at the same time? Or is it just like you just hit the studio and you just like bang out track, 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 and then afterwards you figure what album they're going to? Man, I got these talented, legendary producers hitting me up like, yo, come lock in, come lock in. Mm -hmm. So you go lock in and then based off the chemistry or based off the availability of both of us, I'm saying we got an album, you know, Hit Boy in the lab all day cooking, we had an album. Uh, Harry in the studio all day cooking, telling me to come through, produce, kicking beats out. We had an album, so you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not turning nothing down but my collar. If Harry called me to stay, come through, let's work. I'm coming through. Gotcha. You know what I mean, so it's like that. And, and and in the midst of that, I'm just, I'm at the studio working on my own time. I'm doing features, or I might do these songs or that song. So I'm still stockpiling my material at the same time. You know what I mean? Got you, got you. And you also, you started a sports agency. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big sports okay. firm. You know what I'm saying. All right, what's the name dope, of it? You know what I mean? Big Sports Firm. It's everything Big Sports BSF. Big oh, okay, BSF. I see it, Big I see Sports it. Firm. You know so, like, mean? who do you have signed to it? <laughs> uh, we starting off marketing. We're going to do mm -hmm. some business with Dion, Brad Sims, uh, Henrik Harlett, you know what I mean? From NFL players to uh, to to BMX riders to uh, guys who, who, who uh, ski in the X Games. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? And that's what we're going to bring. That's what we're going to bring to the table, a broader market. We're not just focused on one sport. We're not just focused on the top players. You know and I'm saying we hustlers. We're going to show players how to get the bag. You know what I mean? You know, players are hustlers, too. They right. want to use their their likeness to get money, and we're going to help them do that. You know what I mean? And gotcha. you don't got to be, like, the number one player on the team or nothing like that. You just got to be hungry and willing to work, and we can work with you. Got you. Now, listen, my brother Miro's not here, but you're managed by Rock Nation. The one thing mm -hmm. we need, we got, we listen, we mm -hmm. got the hats with the paper planes on it. We ready. We got our brunch outfits. How do we get an invite to the Rock Nation brunch? It's been like five years. We keep getting passed over. We ready. We are ready. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Hey, yo, ho, ho, what you doing? A word. Man, my boys need some. You know what I mean? I want to I wanna get a couple extra tickets to the. I'm good? All right. We good. We good. Right there. Right there. <laughs> one phone call. We made it with one phone call. That's what I'm talking about. The connects. <laughs> nah, but you've been to the Rock Nation brunch. Yeah, I have. I have, man. I wish. I wish. What's it like? I wish it was that easy, but man, it, it was dope. It I'm not even gonna lie. It looks wild it was my from, goal. from the outside looking in. A, like, And it is. It is, man. It was my goal <laughs> to go there, right? Mm -hmm. So we went, and it was almost a hassle getting in, but we yeah. ended up getting in. And it was like, as soon as you walk in there, it's like, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what I mean? Everybody yeah. in there. First person I seen was Kiss. Kiss had his suit on. Yeah. You see Hove in there, Hove walking through, Hove and Beyonce <laughs> hand. And just, I got to put on my, I got to put on my, my good clothes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My Sunday's best. 
So it was dope. You get to see like, uh, you get to see your favorite celebrities just in, mm-hmm. a, in a in a regular environment. Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying? Meek and Yo Gotti, just everybody who I'm fans of who I, who I watched all these years in one room. And that was dope. I loved that. I enjoyed that. How surreal is it to be like, yo, I used to have to get dressed up to go to court and now I'm getting dressed up to stand next to Jay-Z. Do you ever have, have like how often do you have moments where you're just like, yo, what the fuck? Oh uh, man, like every every day almost, man. Even last night when the album came out, mm-hmm. seeing that everything that we done and seeing that what this album means and seeing what I helped bring to the table to Griselda and seeing what Griselda done to the game. And it's it's crazy, man. It's creepy because you know what I'm saying? It's you know, we just we just Buffalo kids, you know. Yeah, we didn't expect all of this. We wanted we wanted to have this, but we didn't expect all of this. So for it to come to fruition, man, I'm just humble and thankful for it. And it blows my mind every time. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's a good spirit. What is it like being a rapper and then being able to be on social media and see the immediate feedback from people when you drop music? Because I seen it last night. You were retweeting, like, people saying, yo, this mm-hmm. is fire or whatever. Because, like, other rappers didn't have that. They didn't have that immediate feedback. But you, you're you getting mm-hmm. it right there. Does it... Because, like, and it's not... Do you also see the negative feedback as well? Or is it, like, do you see everything? Uh, it's a tool. And definitely, I see everything. I see the hate. I see the criticism. And I see the love. So sometimes I was at the point, like, I wasn't even reading the comments, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't even want to hear what people had to say. Because right. people can be negative, but... I just start paying attention to the positive things, you know what I'm saying? And man, it's, it's dope. It's a the, the internet is a tool that as artists that we use to to move ahead, you know what I mean? And like you said, other artists back in the day they didn't have that, so it's it's it's, it's uh it will behoove us to use it wisely. And that's what I try to do. I try to connect with the fans because they like that. They, gotcha. they, and make, you know what I mean? And make them and make them feel and make you make them feel like you down to earth, you know what I mean? And they want to see that. They want to interact with their favorite guy. I know I couldn't interact with my favorite rapper like that back in the day, so. I love it. It's a tool, but it can't get crazy. Who's a rapper that you wish you could have interacted with back in the day? Mm. Man, just like uh, Biggie, Jay. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember like I remember when the Hot Boys came to Buffalo and did a concert. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have hit them like, yo, I rap. You know what I mean? I'm, let, me, yeah. let me in backstage. You know what I'm saying? You never know what could have happened. You know what I mean? Just... Just all the dudes who I've seen grinding mm-hmm. and, and hustling, man. I wish I could have just tapped in and just hit them up. What's it like being, like, the face of Buffalo? Because coming up, I remember Buffalo was always, like, one of the outer boroughs. Like, yo, like, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. you knew... It wasn't a lost place upstate, but it was definitely a place you knew upstate. Like, you could always name that, a Utica or whatever. And people was like, you know, here in New York City, was like, oh, Buffalo, like, it's probably nice as shit up there. And then you're like, no, it is not. This shit is right, real right, out right. here. You're right, bringing right. a Buffalo story to the mainstream. What's it like to have the city on your back like that? Oh, man, it feel good, man. It feel good. It come with a lot of responsibility. It come with a lot of uh, effort. You got to be a leader as well as a boss. But, man, I love it. You know what I'm saying? The people look to me for hope and for guidance. And 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 and, and I'm just hope that I'm I'm just showing them the right way. You know what I mean? And I always got that in mind. You know, Buffalo never had nobody like Griselda. They never had no heroes. So mm-hmm. what we got going on, they compared to the championship runs of the Bills. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... It's like, man, it's dope. We got all eyes on us from the city, all parts of the city, every color, black, white. They all fuck with us and they love us. They support me, Wes, and Conway. So, mm-hmm. man, I, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, Dame, I mean, Dame Lillard hitting that shot yeah. and people rooting me on, cheering me on. That's how I feel. Definitely. Everyone's rooting you on. Everyone's rooting on Buffalo. Shout to Griselda. Yo, keep doing your mm-hmm. thing, man. But Betty, the new album is fire, man. I can't wait to just walk around the Bronx. It's like mm-hmm. giving people the mean look because I'm listening to it. I know you got a busy day. Everyone that comes on the show gets a neon sign. What would you like your neon mm-hmm. sign to say, my brother? Well, you already know. The butcher coming. The butcher coming, you know nigga. Betty the, the butcher, butcher in the coming, building. Nigga. Yo, my guy. Yo, listen. Out there, the plugs I met too. Go stream it, download it, listen to yes, it, sir. rock with it, let it change your life. Betty, keep doing your thing, man. Man, thank you. Tell your partner I say get well, man. Definitely. Miro, he's, you hear the message. He's watching, I'm sure.